um, SpaceX actually uh, has achieved tremendous accomplishment in a very, very short period of time. First commercial company to fly uh, unmanned mission to the International Space Station. They docked successfully with Dragon, and now they are on their way to fly uh, astronauts, humans, to the International Space Station in 2018. There's another technology that is very exciting to me that is going to transform uh, the way we go to space, and that's 3D technology. So a company uh, called Made in Space, which was also one of the other Peter's endeavors called Singularity University. Uh, this was a company born out of one of the sessions at Singularity University, and they flown their first 3D printer to the International Space Station. And why this is important and, and uh, exciting to me because one of the biggest hurdles we have today, we have to carry everything with us to space because we can go manufacture things in space. Now with 3D printing, we can actually you know, build things in space. So if there are tools we need, if there's a part that breaks, if even food, we can print all of those in space and we can have raw material that we can use in situ to, to, to do those things. So it can transform our ability to actually stay and build colonies and, and do things in space that we were not able to do before. Um, there's also another um, very exciting uh, announcement that was made about another company uh, called the Planetary Resources. And this is one of the companies that has been uh, uh, said that it will basically uh, be one of the first uh, trillion dollar companies in the space industry. And their plan is to actually land on an asteroid, a robotic mission to the asteroids, to mine the asteroids that are very, um, that are made mostly of actually precious metals. And uh, this is just one example of how we can utilize resources in space and, and bring them back to Earth to make a change in our land. You can recognize a lot of the names and faces on the screen. These are some of the uh, few investors in, the, in planetary resources. And uh, alongside of planetary resources, another exciting project that happened is that in order to go to an asteroid, first you have to find the best asteroid to land on. So this is one of the first crowdsourced projects to launch a telescope to space. It was very successful in a matter of few days, $2 million was raised to launch ARCID and it's being built right now and, and going to be launched um, soon. And it will be um, serving the skies for, for these asteroids. Another uh, example of how public has uh, sort of embraced being involved in the space program is uh, Sentinel. It's another organization which uh, was founded by a couple of um, uh, retired astronauts that always worried about the possibility of potentially an asteroid hitting our planet and creating a major disaster. And they were worried that we don't know about these asteroids uh, that much, that we're not tracking them, and if we wait and it's too late for us to find them, then we can't do anything about it. So if you watched Armageddon, we can't do Armageddon. We have to find a different way. So that's why they have launched a program. And on June 30th of this year, uh, a, a global day of called the Asteroid Day uh, will be launched. And a lot of people are supporting this endeavor to, again, launch a telescope and build a telescope that can track and identify all the objects around us in orbit that has a potential to hit our planet and cause havoc on our lives. A more futuristic project in space that I'm very excited about is the possibility of actually collecting the energy of the sun through these space-based satellites and collect that and beam it back to a power station here on Earth to address our growing energy needs here on Earth. And there is a, um, a, a lot of companies that are working toward this. Uh, the technology is very close to being um, viable. Uh, the cost is still a factor that's also uh, coming down through time. And actually, China has announced that they're going to launch such uh, space-powered satellite telescopes. And the possibilities are endless.